Hey guys, happy new year. And this is our first video on our channel of the new year. It's kind of crazy. I was looking back on our videos on YouTube and I keep going back to one of our very first videos where Josh and I just sit down and we asked each other questions and we just answered questions and it was really, really fun. It's a video that I will always remember. And I wanted to do it this time, our first video of 2024, a new year, but I have a twist. So I have a deck of cards that have like a ton of personal questions on them. I don't know any of the questions. I'm just gonna randomly pick them. So Josh is gonna be surprised. I'm gonna be surprised and we're just gonna learn a little bit about each other. And I think it'll be a fun game to start off the new year, so let's do it. Before we get started on today's game, I wanna thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. I'm always on the go, I'm very busy, and I love with Audible, I can listen to my favorite title while I'm in the shower, while I'm getting ready, while I'm in the car. You can listen to all of these audiobooks and podcasts anywhere you go, any time of day, and it's perfect for any type of lifestyle. One of the titles I'm so excited about is Lessons in Chemistry. It is trending right now. Josh and I just binged the entire show, and now we are hooked. And I love that we're both able to listen to this audiobook, while we're getting ready during the day, while the kids are napping, while we're on the go in the car, we can listen to this and enjoy it together. So as a new member, you can choose one title per month to keep from the entire catalog. And that also includes new releases and bestsellers. Members also get full access to the growing selection of audiobooks, Audible Originals, and podcasts. So here is the Audible app that makes it super easy to find new titles, and they have different categories. Here's what's popular, and here's what's trending. They have the new releases, and I really love how the Audible app has the titles of audiobooks and podcasts that maybe I wouldn't know of, so I'm able to discover new titles and new audiobooks. And here is my lessons in chemistry that I'm about to get started. So new members can try Audible for free by going to audible.com slash Herbert or texting Herbert to 500, 500 Once again, thank you Audible for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get this game started. All right, Mr. Herbert, come on in, come on in. Doesn't this feel crazy? We haven't done a video like this in so long. It's very nostalgic. I know, wait, we're kind of like off center. Should you go <laughs> with your broad shoulders? Well, it's a bit different now. I feel like I take up a little bit more room. I've been- You're like this. Been working out, you know? <laughs> Okay, well, we're gonna keep this video short and sweet, but I have some cards here that have- Well, what do you mean by short and sweet? I'm gonna keep it like you. I have some cards on here and they're actually pretty like heavy and emotional and I'm loving them because I just, I looked at a couple. Um, but I'm gonna ask you, it's about our family, start to the new year, kind of like break down the barrier and getting to like know you a little bit better, even though I don't, we've been together how long? <laughs> Is this our five year? Anniversary this year? I guess we'll start off kind of easy. Um, what is my greatest strength? Mm. Okay, that's kind of taking you too long to answer. Your greatest strength? Yeah, what is my greatest strength? Um, how vocal you are. You're very vocal. Mm. In a good way. Okay, I was gonna say, <laughs> this is starting off great. <laughs> In a good way. You wear your heart on your sleeve. Um, you let people know how you feel. You spell out your emotions. You don't hide behind them. That is my greatest strength, but also might be my biggest weakness because sometimes I just spill it all out instead of holding it in. In five words, describe how you think others perceive me. Uh, beautiful. Oh, thank you. Smart. Uh, personable. <laughs> a top comment on YouTube was that I was a bird brain. <laughs> well, no one has to know that. Um, this is perceiving. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, cute. <laughs> and... Those three. Those four. You told me smart, smart, beautiful. Beautiful, smelly. I mean, <laughs> smart, beautiful, cute. Uh, the deep. <laughs> Cute. <gasps> Strong. Okay, love that. Confident. Con Those are great. How do you describe me and our family to others? Crazy. Yeah, <laughs> we do. We are crazy. Unleashed, wild. <laughs> Which member of our family surprised you most this year and why? Jagger. Why? Um, it was just weird. I remember Poppy being young going, Jagger's gonna be nine months. It was just weird, like within the last two weeks, I feel like he just like became his own person. He's not, he's not really like a baby anymore. No, he's he like, like a little human. Yeah, he became a human. 
It is so weird. Like he's weird. giving you kisses. Yeah. He's like, it's cool to see. Ma, ma, ma. And I don't remember that with Poppy. I think it was just like your first one and it's been so long. Um, so it was cool to like discover that. I again. know it is weird to think we don't really remember. I don't really remember. With Poppy. I go back to like our, my photos mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, look at Poppy at this age, this age. I guess that's why people have more kids because you just kind of forget the newborn stage in those hard early months. I guess so. <laughs> to my next question, are we going to have more kids? No. Really? We kind of talked about this. For real, what do you think? Um, I think we should have the discussion in five years. I'm happy with two. I think two. You know great. what? Because right after we had Jagger, I was immediately like, no more kids. We're done. Now that he's nine months, I'm like, okay, potential. But then at the same time, I'm like, I'm very content with two. But then I think part of me is like, was that my last pregnancy? I think that would be hard to accept. Well, um, we'll, uh, we'll go down that road when we <laughs> need to. But then I'm like, why would we wait five years? Like, wouldn't you want them close? I'd like some gappage. <laughs> I'd like maybe just like a little gap. Under two is hard? Two under two was hard, <laughs> difficult, but lovely at the same time. It was, it was. But no, I think definitely I agree. I said when Jagger's at least two years old. Like I want Jagger to be five. two. <laughs> two. To be five. To be Six. two. <laughs> to be two. Before we even think about it. To be continued. Yeah. How can I better support the family? Um, really would like to see you up your cook game. <laughs> Um, it'd be nice. Hey, with my HelloFresh, I am. You are. I am. Um, would love to just be treated to some dinners and stuff. I'm just kidding. I really enjoy cooking. Um, you do Truthfully, everything. how can I better support our family? This is, we're being honest and open here. Uh, you really can't. I mean, you do everything you do. I don't know how you do it. Um, I'm not just saying that. I mean, you're up with Jagger all night. You're up with Poppy. Um, I just don't know how you run on zero sleep. It's, uh, it's admirable. Well, recently I'm starting, I never had coffee before. I, if you're new here, I, we've made that very clear. I don't drink coffee and I don't do caffeine, but I'm starting to realize why people do it. Yes. I'm like, the mornings are getting a little bit harder. Difficult. I'm getting a little bit slower out mm -hmm. of bed. Um, so I've honestly thought about maybe considering a little bit. Maybe caffeine. we should introduce you to some caffeine. Could you imagine me though, like on caffeine? I'd be nuts. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'd have to just like dose it right. <laughs> Do caffeine dose it? Yeah. How am I most like you and how does that scare you? Um, we tend to, I think it's just being in the vicinity for so long. We tend to think the same things and like I'll say something and then you're like, oh my gosh, I was just gonna say that or vice versa. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, quite scary sometimes, but it's almost like we have telepathy in a weird way, but I think if you talk to any married couple, if you've been with one person for so long, you're both like at the same frequency, if that's yeah. even a thing. It is true. We know like when we're thinking the same things and I don't know, like you said, if that's because we've been together for so long, but what's weird is we, we will think the same things at the same time, but we also are two very different people. On the count of three, say a fruit. One, two, three. Banana. Banana. <laughs> We just know. On the count of three, say an animal. One, two, three. Giraffe. Tiger. Okay, uh, well. <laughs> We're not that good. <laughs> okay. Describe when you feel most alive. I'll be honest with you. Yeah? This is what it's here. Be honest. After S the cold plunge. I knew it was good. Telepathy. Um, immediately after the cold plunge, I just feel so alive, excited for life, excited for the day. Um, there's just no feeling like it. 250% dump of dopamine all day long, lasting five hours. Might as well try it. And I, I did it after a workout and it's great. I can't just go in to go in. He'll go in like right in the morning. I definitely need that workout, but I think it's great for you. You found your passion and I'm really I just proud enjoy of it. It's like a little bit of uh, if you suffer from depression, anxiety, I highly recommend it. I'm not a doctor by any means, but it worked for me. Um, and I've suffered from that stuff for a long time. So I can just go in there and stress my body out and I get out and I don't really do it for any of the physical aspects. I just think it, it does a lot for me mentally um, and I really like how I feel after. And should we talk about the one year completely alcohol free? We did it, one year. I gave myself a 100 day challenge of no alcohol, hit that and I was like, you know, I'm going 200, hit that. And I said, I'm going all year. Um, I love beer, love wine. So this is very difficult for me and I definitely had a lot of temptations throughout the year, but with my support system, I did not crack once. How am I helping you become the person you want to be? 
got me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Just kidding. You challenge me daily in good ways. Yeah. Um, I push. I tend to get more reserved and, and deep in my shell and my comforts. And you push me out of my comfort zone, which I think you need in a partner and a teammate, really, um, through life. Because we're really teammates, right? Yeah. We're raising a family. Um, we're on the same line, mm -hmm. per se. Yeah, like I, I pushed you. Not pushed you, but like encouraged you to go to on the LA trip, which we did, yep. which was great. Um, getting out of your comfort zone. Yep. Josh has a hard time, like... He won't just go to the grocery store by himself. He won't just do those type of things. Okay, these are like great questions. I have a couple more. Um, what do you love doing with me? Um, <clears throat> I really love to eat and watch a show with you. <clears throat> that is our favorite thing to do. It's just a, um, I think it's like a, a bonding. We like to make a beautiful meal and then we like to either find a movie or a show and that's how we bond. We really enjoy it. It's like a relaxing thing that we both can enjoy yeah. and spend time with each other. And we've been doing that since day one. I know. We are big movie, TV people. We're movie buffs. We love a show. good show. That's, I get, we love to talk about it. And we love to talk about it with our friends. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Lessons in Chemistry. Great show. Oh, we'll get I got it on Audible. I'm ready to listen. Um, what do you always carry with you? Water. That is true. Josh brings his water everywhere. Um, another anxiety hack. Uh, if you suffer from anxiety, just having like a water bottle on you wherever you go. And you just sip on it anytime, like you just feel anxious or anything, it just helps. So I bring water with me He wherever. brings these uh, big glass bottles with him. And at the restaurant we just went to the other day, they had the same ones on the table. And I'm like, they're going to think you are stealing this. <laughs> yeah, I drink water out of glass now. And it was funny, you were like, I already thought this through. My Mine has a square bottle, theirs had a... Sorry. Theirs had a square bottle, oh, mine's a round bottle. It was round. Yeah. Look into my eyes and describe what you feel. Vulnerable. <laughs> What do you feel? Uh, intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the emotional center of our family? Probably Poppy. She's very she emotional. Are, she really is. We kind of play off her emotions now. She's like wild and fun. Yeah. We're wild and fun when she has her meltdowns. Abby and I are. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, how much percentage do you have left in your battery? And we try to take turns. But she's an empath for sure. She's very emotional. She's now. very in tune with her emotions. Yes. We're having a hard time with emotional music that upsets her. She started crying in the scene, uh, the Barbie movie scene where Margot Robbie is sitting in the chair or in the booth next to the um, older woman. Yeah. And then it got that emotional music and, and Margot Robbie had the tear come down. Poppy just started um, like bawling and was telling me to turn it off. She said, Barbie was crying, Barbie was sad. Um, so she's just like taking it all in, which is a good thing, but it's, she's very young. She's a little emo girl. I know. I'm trying to figure it out because it makes me emotional. But yeah, I would say Poppy is our, she's the core of our family when it comes to emotions. All right, Jagger's up. I got my one last question and I'm going to go grab them. If there were one thing I still don't understand about you, what would it be? Hmm. I could answer it, I think. Uh, how I just keep getting better looking. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I was going to say... Even though we openly talk about your anxiety and stuff, that's still, and I've gotten better with it 100%, yeah. but I still think it's still one thing I still, I'll never understand. I and, should say that. I just will never understand. And I've now come to terms to understand that you'll never understand because you don't have these feelings. You haven't experienced yeah. exactly yeah. the feelings I've felt. Because I'm just like, Josh, let's go to New York City. And he's like, absolutely not. Tall buildings, subways, this, that, that. And you've actually changed my mindset a little bit. Where now I think about things, I'm like, okay, going here, you know, it it, it is there's, a, good, um, there's, a good balance. There's a lot of pros to having anxiety as well as cons, but um, a lot of pros are you're just like more aware, situational awareness. I try to be more aware of things and you're just always on edge, which isn't always good, but... Um, it can be good in certain situations. You made me more aware. And for the last one, I'm actually going to read one to you. Oh. All right. And for our final question, I'm going to be reading to Abby. Okay. What's one thing you really want me to experience? I think I know what it is. And again, this telepathy, we did not rehearse this. On three, we're going to say one thing you want me to experience. One, two, three. Go going to, to Iceland. Iceland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Iceland or Disney World. 
Because I'm, I'm trying to plan a Disney um, World trip, but Iceland 100%. Again, it's the tele- telepathy. So if anyone out there that's watching this, that's been to Iceland or lives in Iceland, please convince Josh. That's my one, that's the one thing I don't understand is how he won't just go to Iceland. It was the most magical, life-changing experience of my life. It's so beautiful and I just want to experience with him. I experienced it with strangers who were amazing, but like it was for a work trip and I didn't like have that person there with me and I, I just want to take you there. All right, well, Jagger is still up, so I'm gonna go grab him. I hope this was a fun little video. Very emotional questions, different from like the juicy ones, but this was fun. Let emotional us, questions. Emotional questions. Let us know if you guys want a part two, and thank you to Audible for sponsoring today's video, and I hope everyone has a great start to their new year, and stay tuned for next week. See you next year. No, not next year. <laughs> Who's picking all these cards up? Who's gonna pick all these cards up? No, you got it. They're everywhere.